So hi, my name is Luisa. I'm from Portugal and I'm a huge fan of Lawn Fawn and this gorgeous flower, the hibiscus. And so someone asked me how I um, actually make them look so alive and I'm going to show you in this short video. Okay, so how do we get from these flat flowers to these very lively ones? See you! Okay, so let's start with um, the project that I've prepared for you today. And uh, I'm going to use uh, these um, die cuts from Lawn Fawn, of course. And they are the big hibiscus and the smaller one. And I'm also going to cut out some leaves. And they are pretty, pretty big. And they, they really make gorgeous gorgeous piece of art so first of all I'm using this um, watercolor paper it's very thick and it will absorb our colors very well so I'm going to try to fit it into my sidekick just because it's a bit smaller here and it is going to be possible to to show you how it actually the whole process actually works so let me just trim it to fit okay so i'm going to use this big flower first and i'm going to die cut this so and then also this smaller flower just fits on here and this also fits the smaller one okay so i'm going to run it through the machine several times just because the paper is so thick it will actually be necessary to cut it in this way so it is well cut out okay so you can use any other machine of course the most important is that there is a crisp look but you see that it is still not very well cut out here. Well, it's not really relevant because uh, when the flower is assembled, I will eventually then also put some you know, glitter on it and so it's okay. Or I can cut these little pieces out by hand. But if I had just run through it a couple more times, it would be perfect. So I guess that's what I'm going to do with the next part and eventually cutting the smaller ones again so i'm going to use the the other part again with the smaller flower put it on here and then cut out these two smaller ones again so that it is perfect okay we'll need uh, no i won't need the stamen because i already have it there okay so let's do this again again Roll it through and once more and again and still again. Yes, and that's it. Okay, so done and it's better. Okay, so here you can see, yes, it has cut out perfectly this time. So the paper is really thick and so you would have to, to really do this so that it it doesn't stick okay so done this I'm going to put my something away and the first thing that I'm going to do now so I'm putting all these here away and the first thing I'm going to do now is color in my flowers so I decided to this time use uh, uh, the uh, some darker shades so in my in my previous in my project that I posted previously I used yellows but now I want to use these um, reds so uh, I'm going to use the lighter color and I'm just very quickly coloring from the inside out so that the inside will always be a bit darker than the outside that is of course something that you can decide to do differently okay so we can also experiment around and, and use color in different ways I like to actually apply all the colors at once now these pencils are from Derwent and they are really Derwent and they are really um, 
intense so intense is very intense i would say and so the the color will show up as really rich and so in the middle i'm going to use this darker shade just to give it a more intense look and and depth of of course okay so now i'm going to use um, my brush here and i'm going to start with the red here and just coloring the outside now just taking a little bit of the color from this part and as you see it will already color the whole petal but then i'll go back and also color or push the brush over the inside so what happens then is that the color here will actually move out like this and as you can see you'll get this great shade of a darker red and outside we'll see just the the pink that shines shines through so i think that is an amazing look so it is a flower and i can then eventually go back and and also color the the borders here a bit more so it's okay if it looks like this i think that gives it a, a, a special intensity okay let's go on to the to the next petal flower and doing the same basically so just the inside i'm going to hold it with my nail so like this okay now from the inside again as you can see a very rich color and really really pretty so and it looks nice S setting that aside i want to color in this and it's getting wet and i'm going to color this in completely because this is going into the center and i want it to be a bit more um how would i say darker eventually okay so just coloring everything like this okay now i'm going to stop a bit because i need this to dry so in the meantime i have also colored in and die cut this leaf and the stamens here um so what i'm going to need now is um, a tool to actually give the flowers that realistic look as you said so i'm going to use this flat flower and i'm going to start to work on it so to bend it and to to raise it up so first of all you can just use your hand if you have nothing else you can also use a, a sponge or some type of softer surface it wouldn't work on glass of course but it will work on any other type of surface so you're going to work your way slowly like this so it starts to curve as you can see but the petals are still straight as you can see so what you can do is take each of the petals and with this side or you can also use a pencil or whatever that gives it this rounded look as you can see it starts to curl up like this and as the paper is very thick it will actually stay like this so you don't need any other support for the, the the flower to hold okay you can see it starts to curl up nicely you can bend it down or up depending on what you want but on on this flower i think it looks really nice if i curl them downwards like this okay so just keep working your way all around the flower and it it already looks a bit different right so this is flat and this one here is um, already more lively on the life so if i do the same with this smaller one i can use this smaller ball here this smaller tip and again it just looks strange like this but i will curl each of the petals individually and then it will eventually start to get alive you know what i mean <laughs> 
So you can do this with basically all flower shaped dies and also with the leaves. And it's really such a difference. It, it definitely makes a difference when you when you use the flowers like this. So I want to give this a nice press. Okay, and as you can see, this is all it takes basically. So I'm going to glue the, the flower down here. And as I said, it doesn't need anything else because it will actually stay like this because the paper is so thick. And, um, when you use other cardstock, well, it is, it's also going to work, of course. You can do this with um, For Me Run. It's this very thin, um, this very thin foam, and, and it also makes gorgeous flowers, and they will look even more realistic. So in the uh, next video, I will try to do this. So as you can see, it goes from this, which will look, yeah just plain to this which is actually quite a, a game changer as I in my opinion so um, you can uh, always do it the same in, in both ways and so the same you can apply to the, the leaves here also give it a nice a nice curve here and then you can also like bend it in this direction here so it looks like this okay so for for in this case i could make it look like this so and this is basically it so very easy and, and simple all you need is just a tool like this now i have no idea what you call it but i'm sure someone will help